Have you ever wanted to play a bit with SQL, but you actually don't have a database? No worries about that. In this video, you will learn how to set up a local SQL server together with AdventureWorks database. Interested? Stay with me. Hello guys, my name is Michał Bicki from Data Maniacs. In this video, I will guide you step by step how to set up your local DB. So where to start? Actually, let's go to my screen and let's go to Google. So in Google, I will search for SQL Express. SQL Server Express. And we got already some hints and we see that there is SQL Server downloads by Microsoft, but actually the second link is more suitable for us. It's download Microsoft SQL Server 2019 Express, and that's exactly what we will need. So SQL Express is a lightweight version of SQL Server. Actually, it is free to use and it can it is very useful if you want to have your local environment. So let's see what we got here. So we need to choose language, English, download, and basically that's it. So when I press that, I should see that the file is getting downloaded. And actually I got it already in my folder. So let's double click on that and go through the installation steps together. So let's go with the basic one. I will accept the conditions. If you want, you can select the path where you want to install SQL Server Express. I will use the default one, press install. And right now the installer does hold the process by itself. So we don't need to do much. Basically, all we need to do is wait just a while. After four minutes, the installation has finished. So actually, right now we just installed Microsoft SQL Server. But I mean only server. We don't have any environment to interact with the server. We, so we need to install SQL Server Management Studio, which can be found under this button. So let's click on it. We will be taken to another web page where we can download SQL Server Ma Management Studio, which will be our environment to play with our server. So we need all we need to do is click on this button this time, and after the download has finished, install SQL Server Management Studio. My download has already finished. So let's try to run installation file. Uh, usually as for the beginning, we need to select where we want to install that. I will use the default location and press install. And now the process has started. It might take a while before the installation finishes. So please be patient and give that time for your computer. Take a cup of coffee and we will see each other just in a minute. The installation has already finished, so we can press close. So let's go to start and type SQL. And we got Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Let's run that. And all we need to do is just press connect and then we will be connected to our local SQL server. However, we don't have any database apart from like system database that were created that were created automatically with the installation. Of course, we can browse through that, check what we got here, but actually we would like to have some database that that will address um, some business examples. So of course we can do it with a new query, just basically coding with SQL um, comments that will create a new database together with 
new tables. However, the simpler method would be getting a database uh, that is already created by Microsoft. And for that, I will just type AdventureWorks database and this is a free database that Microsoft publishes and you can install that on your server. So all we need to do is download, download this file. So my download has been completed and I put my BAK file that I downloaded in a root catalog. So there wouldn't be any administrative permissions needed for uh, SQL Management Studio to open that. Let's go to back to Management Studio and all we need to do is right click on database and there is a command restore database. Let's try that. As a source, we select device. We pe press those three buttons so we can select our file. We press add and mine is on D drive in the root folder and this is this adventure works 2019. I will press OK again and again OK. Oh, the restore failed. That's quite interesting. Actually, I think the issue was that somehow Windows blocked to in, to install that under the previous name because previously I had already that database installed on my computer. So I changed the name to AdventureWorks uh, without 2019 and now it's installed successfully. So I press OK and we can see that it's already here on the tree. And if I select table, I can go to any table I want, for example, production product, right click, select, select top thousand rows and we got together the um, SQL auto-generated SQL script together with the result. So here we can see the top thousand rows. And that's all guys. In this video, we set up SQL Express server. We installed SQL Management Studio and as well installed or in our, in our server AdventureWorks database. So right now you got the ready environment to play with. You can test out your SQL, practice SQL or uh, connect to that with Power BI to explore what are the options when, when it comes to connecting. In the next video, I'll talk more about connecting Power BI to our local SQL, SQL Server database. Thank you guys for attention and see ya in the next video.